2021 promises to be an exciting year, especially with the Olympic Games being held in Tokyo, which will captivate the entire world, and the suspenseful elections in Germany. In today's news, fireworks have been set off across the globe in honor of Belgian researcher Tribolet and Estonian researcher Jurgensen for last summer's discovery of the universal treatment for the COVID-19 virus, which put an end to the worldwide health crisis. After having received the Nobel Prize in Medicine, the two scientists, whose modesty is equaled only by their intelligence, find themselves once again in the spotlight, and when asked on worldwide television to comment, they merely stated that they greatly appreciate all the pyrotechnic tributes, each one more imaginative than the last. Okay, welcome everyone to episode one of the United States for the 2021 edition and i'm not going to be playing as joe biden i'm kind of going to play off of uh my own experiences uh with this game and my own agenda so <clears throat> so first off i want to improve relations with uh the rest of the continent um i don't really see that being too much of a problem with the exception of venezuela um long-term possibility of invading cuba and making that the 51st state and then um so I want to strengthen relations with uh, the NATO countries. Want to help Ukraine push out the uh, Russian rebels. Um, we're going to try to deter any aggressive actions from Russia and China. And we're going to keep an eye on Iran. We're not going to be too aggressive with them. Um, want to strengthen relations with Taiwan and Japan and South Korea. And we kind of want to have a little more influence in this region also as a deterrence for for China um I may try to seek uh better relations with Vietnam and maybe give more business to them such as lowering uh tariffs for free trade and increasing tariffs with china and we're going to try to strengthen relations with australia even though they don't hate us they just kind of like us and want to go to the african continent and for the countries that do like us we're going to try to improve relations with them and even the neutral countries. Um, and Djibouti. Want to see if we can somehow kick China out of there. Um, one option being just invading Djibouti and taking that over and then kicking China out of the country altogether. So in terms of national security, the main countries is going to be China, Russia. We're going to put a network into Ukraine to push their rebel, push Russian rebels out of there. Um, even going to put some agents in Mexico to uh, help eliminate the cartels.
So the first thing I'm going to do is for national agents within the U.S., I'm going to increase that to 50,000. And for international agents, we're going to increase that to 400. And we're going to max out our cyber analysts. So that's going to be a cost of $1.3 billion. And let's see. So we're going to spend about $16.8 billion on agent training and fighting terrorism. And we're going to manage our networks, so I don't need them. Actually, keep some in my RAND. We're not going to even go after North Korea, and that's unless they do something. that's really aggressive and I'll send uh, some agents in there to keep an eye on them. I'm not going to worry about Pakistan, Switzerland, Thailand, or Venezuela, and Vietnam. So, so we're going to put I'm going to put a hundred agents in China. Going to keep about 70 in Russia. So we're going to do some industrial spying to see what technology we can steal from them to level the playing field. And we're going to do a meteor operation in Iran because we don't want them having nuclear power for anything. And being able to use that that power and um, use it for nuclear weapons production. And Russia, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do industrial spying. So we can improve our own technology. Um... So once I'm able to get missiles, missile technology for either one, which would, uh, let me just show you here. So China and Russia are the only ones who have level four missile launchers. So once I'm able to acquire that tech, that technology then I'll switch it over to cyber attack so I can uh, attack their economy so <clears throat> speaking of the economy let's look at our inflation is at 1.47 um, our deficit well it was at 15 something but when I uh, added more agents and did some improvements for national security that went up more. But we're going to take care of that. So we're going to go into legislation. We're going to change our tax investigation. So we're going to make this... Federal Tax Code 2021. So we're going to add that to the reform. And I'm going to go to company turnover tax. I'm going to make that 10%.
So that's going to be very popular within the House and the Senate. I'm going to add that to our reform. And let's see what else we can do. So with this, it's going to add about $1.8 trillion to our revenue. And we still just want to do, we're going to do a tax on gambling. I'm going to add that to our reform. And so we want to increase growth. Since growth is at negative 4.22. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop the airline tax, which is only going to cost us $147 million. And... I'm going to lower the payroll tax for companies. So that's going to be about $25 billion. I'm going to increase the tax on tobacco. I'm going to increase the tax on pornography. And we're going to lower the taxes for the lower and middle class. We're going to keep the upper class the same. So that's about $65 billion. And let's see what else. So we're done with that for taxes. So let's look at our unemployment, which is 6.3. So we're going to help more seniors get employed and so we're going to increase minimum wage, we're going to make that a reform. I'm going to just call this the Labor Act. Labor Act 21. I'm going to create that reform. And I'm doing that because I'm going to increase the working hours. which will help with more growth and so we're going to go to health and we're going to change tax exemptions I'm going to change that to total which is going to add another 197 billion into our economy. We're going to add that. And 
and let's go ahead and increase the pension And let's look at a retirement age. I'm not going to touch that at all. So let's go through with it and we're going to authorize referendums. <clears throat> Let's meet with these two. That's Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Grassley. You know full well that in our services, the empathy curve usually stays close to zero. However, I have placed my agents under surveillance and I can assure you that after what you've done for them, you're in the good books of 98.7% of the staff. I would still be careful, though, to ensure this emotional disruption doesn't get out of hand. In the field, an emotional agent is a dead agent. Undeniably, you... Okay. All right, scientific corporate cooperation um i want to build up relations first before i start going that route All right, cause of death i must inform you that you can at your left all right that reminds me there's one more thing i forgot to do so the patriotic front so there's a glitch that uh ever missed in previous versions you were able to surveil these people that option's not here so all i can do is infiltrate i'll do them and get the italian mafia Oh. All right, so it doesn't look like I can try to persuade them to uh, pass those two bills. You're not bad. Sure. It's very kind of you. All right, and let's meet with Chuck Grassley. I'd be happy. It's very you're not bad. Sure. And Sudan and Ethiopia are at war with each other. Now, there's one thing I wish uh, Eversim would do is allow you to send your Secretary of State over to uh, two nations in conflict and try to get them to agree to like a ceasefire or uh maybe it's an agenda that you can click in and see like who agrees to it um as far as like conditions for the ceasefire to make it a permanent peace treaty something to that effect um i, I would like ever some to do that hopefully in an update or Maybe the 22 edition, but I'm just putting it out there. All right, so 
So now, um, so initiate a year of culture dedicated to a country. So we're going to do this for Mexico because we really want to strengthen relations with them. And then want to go to education and for legislation, we're going to do a foreign exchange um, student program with them. So all of that is going to help our relations with them. And as it gets stronger, we can, uh, once we're able to build a hyperloop or something, we can set up a, uh, a transport system going to some of their larger cities, which will also help increase growth. And it'll help with our tourism sector as well. All right, so they accepted it. And now let's go to, to aid. So whatever country doesn't like us or hates us and we're giving money to them, that's going to stop. So cutting that out. So Syria, absolutely not. $5 billion is absolutely ridiculous. Um, Afghanistan, we're going to keep this as is because... I'm going to yank our troops out of uh, Afghanistan. Albania. So I believe Algeria is. Oh, Morocco doesn't like us. So Algeria is fine with us. So let's look up Morocco and see if we're giving them money. And yes, we are. So 135 million may not be a lot, but is they're not getting our dollars. And Libya. That's also going to be something that I look into. So if I'm giving them money, I'm eventually going to send in all right, so we're not giving them money at all. But I plan on sending a net network in to uh, get rid of their terrorist groups that's in that country. All right, so Jordan. Eh, Jordan doesn't really like us, so. They don't hate us, but eh, that's their problem. So the countries that's on that American continent that even if they don't like us, I'm going to keep that as is because I want to strengthen, like I said, strengthen relations within the American continent. So I know we're not giving money to Iran. You better not be giving. All right. So no not and I'm sure we're not giving money to Russia no we're not and what about Belarus are you kidding me 28 million nope not having it And let's see who else we're going to take money from. Let's look at Yemen. No, we're not giving them any money, so that's good. Uh, about Sudan. No, we're not giving them money either. India, we want to build relations with India. So... 
because we could actually use them as an ally against China. So 429 million, that, that's fine. We, we can leave that. Myanmar. Let's see, are we giving them money? Uh, see, I, I may keep that for now. Because the more allies I can have uh, on the Asian continent against China, the better. So we'll leave that as is for now. Um, let's look at Vietnam. Vietnam. So I'm going to increase this to 200. Because like I said, I plan on building uh, relations with them. And Vietnam produces a lot of product. Not as much as China, but I mean, they are up there as far as production. So... We're going to kind of loosen our grip on if we have any sanctions or anything against them. We're going to kind of loosen that up. All right, so next. We're going to go after the uh, free trade agreements, which is going to help reduce our deficit our budgetary deficit and it's going to help bring in some more um revenue for us actually for both countries so we build that up and later on we'll go uh after NAFTA and the Pacific community. So if we go to industry, I'm going to start putting tariffs on China. So we're going to put a 25% tariff on China for aluminum. Then oh yeah, for electric vehicles, we're gonna put a thirty five percent tariff on China for electric vehicles and Electronic components. Let's see who's the largest producer of that. So it's China that's the largest producer of that. So if we go after Germany, Japan, and Mexico and lower the tariffs or basically give them a discount, then that'll help our relations with these three countries and it will hurt China even more. So that's what I'm going to do. So custom duties. I'm going to put a 38% tariff on electronic components. And then 
What was it? Germany. So Germany, we're going to lower this by 25%. And then this is it Japan? So Japan, we're gonna lower this to twenty-five. Actually, let's make that twenty-eight percent. And then for Mexico, we'll give them, we'll just make that 25. Actually, no, since we're on the same continent, we'll give them a 30% reduction or discount. So that should help with uh, our relations and also with getting more product. And let's see. So we're going to put a tariff on steel for China. And we're going to make that about 20%. So. I know I'm gonna be kicked out the WTO, but eh, not missing out on anything. So yeah, just got kicked out the World Trade Organization. Eh, not a big deal. The Commission has deliberated and has agreed to put this commercial agreement to a vote. It will take place after the next meeting. Okay, bad unemployment figures, 6.87. All right, and... So the other thing I want to do is I'm going to go into service and I'm going to nationalize the banks. That's not going to work. So let me just see. So if I privatize that, that'll pass. So I'm not going to do this right away. I'll try to hold out for a little bit. But I'm going to go into pharmaceutical. And I'm going to do a price reduction. So we're going to do a 3% price reduction. And that should help people. Uh, he's resigning because we got kicked out the World Trade Organization. But I'm going to refuse his re resignation. So how long do we have with so the federal tax code
So it looks like on the 19th that that'll be passed. And for the labor on the 21st. No, I stand corrected. The federal tax code is going to on the 26th. That should be passed. So let's go to healthcare. We're going to take one star out of reimbursement for hospital treatment. And I'm going to invest that in other sectors. So we have 3.5 billion to work with and we're going to hire another 20,000 medical staff, which costs 1.1 billion. Many people are left in the streets. It is absolutely necessary to do something. You're really peachy keen. And I tell you that I keep harping on to my great-great-grandchildren about it. It's true. You're the creme de la creme. Alright, let's meet with her to help boost our approval rating. And we're going to go to housing. And we are going to rehabilitate 300,000 homes. So that dropped a little bit. So there's a little bit more growth. So once everything goes through, this should drop close to half or maybe a little bit more and after that happens then i'll try to renegotiate the uh interest rates for loans from other countries your commitment to as we do at the end of every year we have begun full-scale military exercises in view of today's configurations of conflict, which are most often lightning wars on land, this time we are emphasizing tactical combat, especially the coordination of our squad units and area-based bombing from our destroyers. Our means of defense are also very powerful. We can rely on our anti-missile silos for territorial defense and on our units with anti-aircraft missiles batteries, carriers, and cruisers. Regarding very long-range attacks, besides our various mobile launchers, our most effective weapons of deterrence remain our missile launcher silos, which were designed to resist nuclear attacks. And there you are. The army is well prepared to confront any invasive threats or to make plans in international theaters of operation. All right, so let's take a look at this war between Sudan and Ethiopia. Wow. So Ethiopia is getting their butts handed to them. Um, but I mean, they're both taking a pounding. Uh, Ethiopia almost lost 50,000 troops. So that that's pretty bad and just like i said when it gets that that bad you should be able to send your uh secretary of of state to um create some kind of diplomacy and ceasefire and the voting will now begin i remind you that the results will be updated after each vote and that an alert will be shown if a blocking minority emerges 
that is deemed legal. All right, so let's see what this vote is going to be, and then I think I'm going to end this episode. Um, there, there's so much content in this new version. I mean, I think this is the best version so far, and this should have happened a long time ago with the things that Eversim added. Even though they could have added more, but this is pretty good. So it looks like this is going to be unanimous. All right, so our free trade agreement got approved, and that should help with our economy. One week before the beginning of the festival. I'd be happy. Very kind of you. Yes, I know. I get that all the time. Okay. Okay. Sure. Hey, we'll end that meeting, and that should help with our approval. So let's just take a look. Growth uh, is not really showing up yet. And I believe... Alright, so... Which bill did I say it was that's supposed to pass? I believe it's the Labor Law, or Labor Act, that I enacted. So, people aren't going to be too happy because they're going to have to work more hours from 34 to 39 hours and I'm still going to raise that up to about 40 whenever I get a chance. All right, so that went through. I have to tell you that I am filled with pride to be the mother of a leader who is so loved by the people. Our infiltrated agent was spotted and murdered. Uh, that's not good. All right, so let's look at. All right, so the growth is actually going up. It was just 4.02 not too long ago, and it's down to 3.59. So going in the right direction for the economy. Hopefully I can maintain it. And... I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and there's going to be plenty more to come. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Click the like and I will see you soon.